All right, back on the mini Zonda outboard. <clears throat> now, um, so I've fitted my servo. Now it's time to run the wires to the speed controller. I, was, I just want to do something a little bit different than just you know drilling three holes in there and just running the wires straight down. I thought if I can uh, make plugs into here, it just might look that a little bit neater. The way you would do it if it was in a normal V hole is obviously you drill one hole uh, to cover this and then you get your cooling and the, uh, the lines all through there. I'm not that keen on drilling a big hole in here in case this doesn't work out. And I've got to take the outboard off and, you know, put twin motors in it or a you know, single motor or whatever. And I've got like a big hole in here. If I uh, do something like, well, this is my thoughts. Use like some outlets, some water outlets. If I, if I wasn't using this anymore, they could just stay there and still, you know, two of them could still be used as water outlets. So what I was thinking was, I haven't really looked at anything yet, but putting, drilling this out, drilling this out to make this a tight fit in here, and getting that in there, and get three of these sitting in here with the uh, female terminal, and then have the wires, you know, coming out the bottom here to the speed controller. I don't think it'd be too bad. Um, yeah, what do you think? Uh, so I was gonna use one of these. The wires on these are, are quite thick. They're 10 gauge wire. The terminals on this is only three and a half millimeter. They're tiny. You'd normally put five and a half millimeter terminals on this size wire. It might be easier if I swapped it out to four mil, maybe. We can't go too big because I've only got so much to play with there, but I've got a little bit. So what I'd need to do is get these get these on here and then I'd probably cut that off because I don't need any of that and then press this into here, which wouldn't be that easy with that already soldered on there. Unless I was to press it in first perhaps have a little bit hanging out and then solder my wires on um, hmm I think I'd have to do it with uh, joins like in it um, I'd have to do a little a little piece with another terminal and go into here actually because I'd, I'd have to have the wire yeah this has got to come through the top if it's already soldered onto there that doesn't work so all right, so make a little joiner to go from here to here. All right, and we'll just do three of these, perhaps that way, or one, two, three. Hmm. I pretty much just have to make a decision and, and then go with it, you know, just make it work. Once I start drilling, she's drilled, it's done. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is change them to four mil. So I'll put four mil bullets on here. Just this three and a half mil stuff is just so small. Just, I don't even know how the current gets through that. So I think we'll just go to four mil because I can, I can fit that in there. Like just draw that out a little bit and press that in. And then I'll just shorten this off so that I've got some room or just a little bit of terminal sticking out past here so I can solder. So that's actually looking fairly easy to do. Okay, so I got that part of it sorted out. Um, it worked out how I wanted it to, so everything's good there. So they just plug in so I can swap them if I need to. I thought I was gonna have problems with with um, the edge one, like, you know, hitting on there, but it didn't happen. Now, so I'm just gonna, run a tube down there mount my speed controller i might just glue it down actually because i don't want to make anything um too permanent just in case this doesn't really work out 
I put the speed controller at the front just for weight. Um, I probably shouldn't have done it, but I soldered the wires together here rather than putting terminals on. I'll hate that if I ever have to change the speed controller, but you know. So yeah, so I'll chuck that in. I'll do the do the hoses, and I don't see any reason why I can't be at the lake after I charge a couple of batteries up. All right, uh, wiring's done, plumbing's done. Um, got my battery holders in here. I took a leaf out of Big B's book of holding the batteries in. Actually, I like that. Um, can't say I've ever actually done that before, but yeah, it makes sense. So I've got no battery trays at all, no straps, no nothing. Just held in with this. They can't go back. I don't know, you know, what the weight's meant to be on an outboard thing. So I've just put the batteries all the way forward. Just running one battery. The other one is for balance. What else? Ah, oh, the good, cool thing about these outboards is they're easy to adjust up and down. I, I need to tighten that up but it's just the screw here. One thing I don't like is the, uh, this is the prop they give you, a tiny little 32 mil prop. There's not enough thread after you put the prop on to reach the nylock. So because we're heading out right now, I um, didn't bother with Loctite. We'll put, actually put super glue on there just to drop a super glue so that won't go anywhere seems silly you definitely need the um, the te Teflon washer on this one though because look as soon as that prop pushes it takes it up it's just the way it is I suppose so yeah you definitely need that so we don't bind that on that so it would have been better to take that away and move everything forward but you just can't all right so now I've just got to do my I've hooked up the got hooked up my radio but I haven't done the speed controller, so I'll just quickly do that now. I've bound the radio is what I meant to say. I had to get a new receiver. So, just get my little switch. I don't know what you can see here. I've just got a bit of an angle there. That one there, that one there. So, Everything's new, this is a new speed controller, so I need to pull throttle, power up. And she ain't working. I'm not that wrong here. Alright, it didn't work straight away because I had to put the put the camera down. Um, the throttle had to be in reverse to make it uh, do its beeping thing. So it was just doing the constant beeping because the throttle was wrong way around. Um, if I try, oh yeah, actually got the wires the right way around for the first time ever, just about. On the one, on the one thing when I when I can just pull that out and put that in the middle, you know, when it's so simple to change, I actually fluked it. Um, steering, what have we got going here? Going the right way, it's kind of pulled that way a little bit. Ooh, steering's all the way over that way. Alright, so I'll have to adjust my steering to get it straight, which is a bit of a pain because I can't, I have to loosen that one. I've got to get underneath to do it, of course, but no big deal. Alright, so I'll sort that out and head to the lake. Now I'm going to tease you by not putting that in this video. You're going to have to watch the next one as well.